What's up guys, this is The Honest Outlaw here, and today we're gonna to be talking about Bear Creek Arsenal. This is kind of a budget-minded, not kind of, I guess, but a really budget-minded option for those of you that are looking at getting into an AR-15 or looking to get another AR-15, and uh, I think you're gonna like this. Before we do the video, I wanna mention my patient supporters. Thank you guys very much. Because of you guys, the channel's still here. We appreciate that, and we do exclusive content for you guys over on Patreon. If you wanna get into that, link is in the description of the video. Also, there's a link to the new t-shirts, new sweatshirts, stuff like that, and there's a link to a local shelter that I like to support, Names Iowa. I'd appreciate you go down there, click that link, and sign up. Now, this Bear Creek Arsenal upper was sent to me by Bear Creek Arsenal, so I'm gonna get that right out of the way. However, uh, I think it is a really good option for a number of reasons. I've had a lot of these budget rifles on the uh, channel, and some work and some don't. And uh, some of that's due to quality control, uh, if you get something in the in the price line of the two to three hundred dollars for an upper, four to five hundred dollars for a full built rifle, uh, Bear Creek Arsenal the uppers go for somewhere between two hundred and seventy dollars up to three hundred and thirty dollars depending on what options you get. Uh, this is the one I have, but there's lots of options with side chargers. They have six point five Grendel, three hundred blackout, uh, three oh eight. 5.56 NATO, which is what this one is. They have 223 uh, Wild. They got lots of different calibers and lots of different options for you to kind of build your own or choose your own upper. This particular one I have here has a billet upper receiver, which I like. Came with a bolt carrier group, came with a charging handle and forward assist. It also has a 15 inch M-lock rail, which is almost a must these days. I like a longer rail, not only because I got the long gangly arms, but uh, if you want to mess up your accuracy, the best way to do it is to put your barrel right on a barricade while you're trying to shoot. And it's nice to have a lightweight option to completely cover up that barrel, keep that accuracy while still giving you a bunch of spots to add accessories. If you know anything about the Air 15 market, accessories are one of the reasons why people buy this other than the awesome ergonomics and, and accuracy. But this rail having M-lock slots all the way around, Picatinny running all down the top, gives you tons of uh, options to put whatever you want on the gun comes with this like cylindrical style flash hider, which yeah, it, to my opinion worked really well. However, if I'm gonna pick one for like serious use, I'm probably gonna pick something that doesn't have any ports on the bottom, in case you have to shoot prone on the ground or something like that, you want kicking up dust, showing everybody where you're at. So, it's cool, it works all right, mm, I can take it or leave it. The barrel itself is a very thick M4 style uh, barrel. It even has the uh, cut inside there for uh, whatever you wanna add, bayonet, that kind of thing. Carbine flank gas system. I don't like that. I would prefer it's a mid-length gas system, but in all fairness, while we were shooting, didn't really notice. Uh, mid-length gas system's a little bit smoother. However, carbine plank gas system is more than reliable, more than proven. Uh, it's a little bit harsher on the internals of the gun, might uh, mitigate a little bit of that overall durability. However, uh, still works plenty fine. And as you can see here, we got 500 rounds through it, and it's not super dirty. I haven't done any cleaning of this. We just oiled it up and we got the upper and uh, piled some rounds out of it. So. Uh, we did do a first shot to this and then the files got corrupted so we're kind of going to do a makeshift review here where we, uh, like I said, put 300 rounds out of the first time, 200 rounds out of the second time, and so far so good. I have a Holosun 503R running on the top of it which is my uh, test optic for most of the AR-15s I have because it's running on the Scalar Works mount here and you can take it off and on very easily. So what we're going to do here is shoot it a little bit more today, give you guys some live shooting along with mix and maybe some of the old footage as well, uh, showing you how reliable it is, how accurate it is, that kind of thing. If you're interested about the lower, uh, the lower is a Rock River Arms lower that I've had for a very long time, I'm trying to keep this in the budget uh, concept here. It is obviously not billet, and it doesn't have near as good of a coating as the actual Bear Creek. Kind of shows off the coating difference. You actually get a fairly quality uh, finish as well with the Bear Creek Arsenal. So the upper definitely looks better than the lower. Got the Myad grip on there that's all beat up, and I have a POF trigger in there that's flat face. And I like the POF, and I wanted to add it to this build, kind of let you guys know about it. POF makes really high quality stuff like the Revolution, things like that, but they also make some really high quality accessories. Uh uh, my buddy PewView, uh, if you don't follow him on Instagram, go over there and check him out. He uh, got me into this trigger and it's super fast and super reliable and it's only about 100 bucks. So no need to pay for a uh, AR Gold trigger or something like that when this guy's around. Also have the Mission First Tactical Stock and just standard uh, buffer system on it. So overall, uh, so far, out of all the rounds we've shot out of this, we've had zero malfunctions, which is pretty impressive. We've had zero parts rattle off it at all. Uh, the thing has worked perfectly, and it's also accurate, which is super nice. We had the Delton in here, a similar price point, but it was uh, not accurate. Let's go with that. 
uh, not to hit it too hard, but it was somewhere in the area of five to seven MOA. This is more three-ish MOA, which is a lot more uh, representative of the budget AR-15s. Even budget AR-15s are extremely accurate because the AR-15 overall is a very accurate platform, if not the most accurate uh, combat rifle platform that exists. Accuracy, reliability is on point. On top of that, uh, the ergos are that of an AR-15 as well. So not only are accessories going to be easy to find, but the ergonomics are going to be very nice. If you're looking for a home defense rifle, if you're looking for a uh, plinkin rifle, anything like that, AR-15, the reason why they're the most popular rifle in the country is because they fit the bill for a lot of roles. I know some of you in AR-15 is too much for home defense, completely understand that. If you are in an apartment building, you don't want to be running 77 grain uh, penetrator rounds and using an AR-15 as a home defense round or a home defense gun. However, Again, you choose the right type of ammo, choose the right type of tool for the job. And for most people that live in residential or rural areas, this is a perfect choice, uh, specifically because of the ergonomics and low recoil mixed with that potent caliber. Compared to a handgun or compared to even something like a 44, uh, 223 has quite the temporal cavity and does a really, really good job stopping a threat, particularly up close within 100 yards. So let's take it out and shoot it a little bit, kind of do an impromptu uh, third shots, and then I'll give you my uh, final impressions. One of the things that's either nice or not nice depending on your perspective is the thickness of the barrel personally for me I like a little thinner but I like a little thinner barrel uh, I usually as my go-to barrels go for BCM I uh, usually enhance the lightweight fluted which is significantly lighter than this one of the reasons why a heavier barrel is nice though is it dissipates heat a little bit better uh, it takes a little bit longer to heat up and uh, theoretically can help you out with accuracy a little bit but another thing it does is add weight up toward the front which kind of is good or bad depending on what you want, right? So if you want to hold it up for a long period of time and clean rooms, weight out front's not so good. If you want to shoot really quickly, weight out front's pretty good. Ready? I am Daniel Boone. <sighs> Better watch out. <laughs> I just have too much damn fun with this thing. Yeah, well you like Air-15s. What do you think of that one? So cheap, you think it wouldn't work, but it does work. It does work, and I kind of love it. And normally, I like expensive things, but I'm feeling this. Yeah, right? All things considering, for $275 for the upper, throw $100 in an optic, maybe $200 if you want to get a little bit better one, throw $100 into an upper or a lower receiver, put a parts kit together, throw a stock together. I mean, you're looking at, I don't know, it wasn't a math major, but you're looking somewhere under $700 for sure. And you get a really good out the door gun, that's for sure. You could probably make it for less than five if you were really counting pennies. So overall, I'd say Bear Creek Arsenal is something that people have been trying to get me to review forever. And I just don't have them really available in my area. So it was nice for them to send one down here for us to check out. Uh, this is ours, we're gonna be keeping this and we're gonna be shooting the crap out of this. But I think overall it does a really good job at what it needs to do. It fires bullets downrange at a fairly quick pace accurately. And for that, it does a phenomenal job. Would you be mad if that was your only gun for home defense? 
Fair enough. I'm Be a little loud that. indoors, but that's what they make electronic gear pro for. True that. And that's so. under my crazy hat. Yeah, right? Oh, yes, it is. Well, there you go. Got anything else to say, Daniel, or we're going to go? Fuck off. <laughs> if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please support your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. Check Bye. you later.